probably it's something we make a mistake of at all areas of education really is assuming that science and technology are these things that is just for people who love maths and numbers yeah. and even that maths itself is not an artistic endeavor right and even technology has got to be something you switch on or you switch off rather than a thinking about a technological approach so when we think it earlier is about creative and critical thinking which is one of the characteristics of effective teaching and learning that idea of being a creative thinker also links massively into science technology engineering art and mathematics because it's about how you train a brain and you can do that how you can grow a brain to think in particular ways so if you only ever present children with one outcome, their brain gets very used to the expectation of an outcome. So when you present children with various outcomes and then you scaffold possibilities onto that, then their brains learn that there's always more than one solution. So even early years practice has evolved over time since when I started a long time ago. We would have been very topic-based, theme-based, activities linked to the thing that you were talking about. I'm talking about shape. Let's all do a shape activity then let's rotate, then let's rotate, mm. and we would all do shape. Or, or the thing about spring, we're all going to do about daffodils and we do a lot of daffodil activities. And now really good early years practice in terms of continuous provision is the idea that the adult might talk to children or engage them in thinking about something, but you could then talk about shape, then go off into construction, go off into the sand, go off into the water, go and create in the creative space. And they're all equally as valid because you are revisiting, rehearsing and extending skills across all of the things that you need to be confident in. Mm -hmm. And the role of the adult then is to really support, uh, scaffold, teach, and look for teachable moments in children's play. Because children are never more engaged than when they are in highly motivated play.